If you are a process engineer and you have designed a plant, how do you ensure that the client would approve the design? Hi, I am Ajay. I have authored two best-selling chemical engineering books. The answer to this question is follow process design standards. Say for example, you want to design a processing facility that has got separators, control walls, pumps, orifice, PSV, BDV, rupture disc. So how do you go about it? Fortunately, we process engineers have got process design standards to help us through this. Let us discuss some of the major standards that we use in the process industry. ISA 750101 standard we use for the control wall sizing. PRD means pressure relief wall and rupture disc. Together it is PRD. We want to do the PRD sizing. We use API 520 part 1. Whereas API 520 part 2 talks about installation procedure. Let us say you have got PSV sizing done using API 520 part 1. Then you go to API 526 to select an adequate PSV size which is available in the market. API 521 discusses overpressure scenarios, depressurization, relief scenarios and then uh, relief load calculations. For carrying out line sizing, we use API 14E. If you want to carry out two phase or three phase vertical or horizontal separator sizing, then use API 12J. API 2000 helps you with vending calculations for the storage tanks that includes both above ground and underground storage tank. Also, it helps you with PVR resizing. ISO 5167-2 it is a good resource for orifice sizing. These standards are like holy books to a process engineers and we should follow them religiously. I hope this was useful to you. Please do share this with your friends. I'll be back with another interesting video for you. Take care.